Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 3 on sampling distributions. In this lecture also we will discuss one example related to probabilities of sampling distribution of the mean. If you recall we have discussed central limit theorem in lecture number 1 and this central limit theorem says that suppose we are taking a random sample of size n from a population with mean mu and standard deviation sigma then z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma over square root of n is a standard normal random variable and a central limit theorem is applicable if sample size is 30 or more now if sample size is not 30 or more or suppose sample size is less than 30 then also this is true if the population from which we are taking a sample is given as normal uh, normal distribution or the distribution of population is normal so this restriction on the sample size is not required if the population from which we are drawing a sample is having a normal probability distribution. So we will remember this fact also that if the sample is taken from a normal population then also this z defined in this way is a standard normal random variable regardless of the size of the sample so here we are given a random sample from a normal population so we don't have to worry about the sample size but we will require sample size here it is given that the life of batteries manufactured by a battery manufacturer can be modeled as a random variable having approximately a normal distribution with uh, mu equal to 50 months and standard deviation sigma equal to 6 months. So here it is given that underlying population is having a normal distribution with population mean 50 and standard deviation 6. Find the probability that the mean of a random sample of size 36 of such batteries will be less than 48 months so here we have to find out the probability that mean of a random sample of size 36 of such batteries will be less than 48 months so we have to find out this probability and we are given that population is normal with mean mu equal to 5, 0, standard deviation sigma equal to 6 so this is given information given that population mean is 5, 0, population standard deviation is 6 and uh, sample size is 36 n equal to 36 so we have to find the probability that the mean of a random sample of size 36 of such batteries will be less than 48 months so we are interested in this probability here sample size is greater than 30 we can see so even if it is not given that underlying distribution is normal we can apply central limit theorem but here it is given that population is normal so we can apply central limit theorem regardless of the fact that sample size is bigger than 30 or smaller than 30 so now we know that if uh, this uh, sampling distribution of x bar is constructed from the normal population then we know that z equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma over under root n is a standard normal random variable so therefore uh, we can find out this probability by standardizing this sample mean x bar so this is equal to 
probability that x bar minus population mean divided by sigma over square root of n is less than 48 minus mu divided by sigma over square root of n so therefore this is equal to probability that this quantity we denote by capital Z is less than 48 population mean is given as 50 standard deviation is 6 divided by sample size which is 36 square root of sample size that is square root of 36 so this is now problem of standard normal probability distribution this is going to be 48 minus 50 minus 2 here we will have 6 divided by 6 that is nothing but 1 so we have to find out this probability probability that capital Z is less than minus 2 and uh, this uh, Z is a standard normal random variable so we can use this symmetric curve bell shaped curve suppose here we have 0 minus 2 is somewhere say here and here uh, we will have 2 so we are interested in this probability probability that Z is less than minus 2 and uh, from the symmetry of the curve we can see that these two areas are equal so probability that Z is less than minus 2 will be equal to probability that Z is greater than 2 so this I can rewrite as probability that Z is greater than 2 now this is equal to 1 minus probability that Z is less than or equal to 2 because I am having cumulative probability table for this type of probabilities now this I can uh, find using cumulative probability table for standard normal random variable so I have to find out probability that Z is less than or equal to 2 I am interested in this probability so 2 I can rewrite as 2 plus 0 0.00 so here under Z I search for 2 so I have to search here this is the value corresponding to Z equal to 2 and 0, 0.00 that means I have to consider this first value so probability that Z is less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.9772 so that I substitute here 0 0.9772 so that I substitute here 0 0.9772 and uh, this turns out to be 0 0.0228 so this is the required probability probability that the mean of a random sample of size 36 of such batteries will be less than 48 months that is probability that x bar is less than 48 months is 0 